A handful of players share the top spot of the HP Byron Nelson Championship, and still some players have to finish their opening round on Friday. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. A hitch in the giddy-up in the Lone Star State play suspended at yet another tournament because of bad weather. Hello everyone, I'm Casey Black. The HP Byron Nelson Championship is now the ninth event this year out of 21 on the PGA Tour that saw a suspension due to inclement weather. At 11.45 Eastern, the horn blew and nearly four hours later, play finally picked back up, but some players were left on the course when the sun went down, forcing them now to finish their round on Friday. Jason Day shot a four under 66. The 22-year-old who's playing in his first HP Byron Nelson championship carded six birdies and two bogeys. The Aussie made five putts within the 9 to 25 foot range while hitting 13 of 18 greens in regulation. Look for Day to make his way to the first tee box at 316 Eastern time with Harrison Fraser who is at even par and John Mallinger who is one over. And winner of this year's AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am, Dustin Johnson, is looking for his fourth win on tour. With an opening round three under 67, Johnson carded an eagle on the par 5 seventh in addition to two birdies and just one bogey. He's headed back out for round two at 2.38 Eastern time from the 10th with Brian Gay, who is two over par, and Justin Leonard, who is also heading into Friday at two over. And defending champion Roy Sabatini shot an opening round two under 68, which includes three birdies and one bogey. He's heading back out at 229 Eastern, starting off on the back nine. Michael Collins is in Irving, Texas, with a look at what we can expect for round two. Michael? Well, how about that there, Casey? Here's the thing. Did I not say when we went to the preview yesterday that leading score for the first round would be five under at the best? Yeah. Am I right? That's right. Look at the score. You don't know. Near do I. Because the first round's not over. Here's the thing. Out here, there were tornadoes close to the golf course, so they pulled everybody off. But here's what you can look for going into Friday. They're going to finish the first round. The problem is they might not finish the second round because there's that many players that were left out on the golf course at the end of the day. When we went off the air on the PGA Tour Network, Jason Day had the lead after shooting a 4 under 66. I will say this. Perfect weather, a lot less wind going into the second round. Second round finishes on Saturday morning, so I'm going to say I'm sticking by my guns. 500 leads after the first round at best. I like where 400 is right now. By the time they finish, someone who goes out early in the second round and gets finished before the guys that have to tee off in the afternoon, someone's going to get to seven under par. Boom. I said it, but the course is going to get firmer and faster because all the weather that came through and caused that weather delay didn't hit the golf course. So the golf course is still firm and fast. You know where to catch the action on the PGA Tour Network, Sirius 209, XM 146. We're on from noon to 6 Eastern on Friday. Check back on PGATour.com to find out what's going on. Okay, Michael, will do. Thank you very much. You can watch the second round television coverage starting at 3 p.m. Eastern time on the Golf Channel. But before you do that, don't forget, head to PGATour.com starting Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern to watch On the Tee Live. John Swantek, Brian Katrick, and myself will get you ready for second round coverage of the HP Byron Nelson Championship with live scoring, highlights, interviews, analysis, much more. It's on the T Live on PGATour.com, 1 p.m. Eastern, Friday. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard, proud sponsor of the PGA Tour.